The back office of a freight brokerage represents a complex network of departments and roles, all essential to the seamless functioning and profitability of the business. Although the freight broker industry is often associated with the front end operations, such as sales and business development, the back office operations and their personnel form the backbone of the business, ensuring the company stays afloat and thrives. Understanding the various roles in these back office departments, including accounting, credit, carrier compliance, and claims and how they all work together, it's crucial for anyone involved in or considered considering joining the freight brokerage industry. So let's dive into these positions and see how they all contribute to a successful freight brokerage operation. Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, welcome to our channel. I'm Nate Cross with Freight360. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of your latest content. Please, I know everybody asks for all those when they have a YouTube video, but it helps us out and gets the algorithm the right way. That way we're reaching more people. So we really do appreciate that. And for the best trade material from us, make sure to check out the Freight Broker Basics course using the link in the description box below. It's a self-paced program taught by both of us that covers everything, including how to start your own brokerage, land new customers, grow your business, and even hire the right employees. Let's dive in. First, the accounting department. Accounting is where the financial management of the business takes place. It is staffed with folks that handle billing, carrier payments, payroll, cash flow, and occasionally they might have a chief, finan chief financial officer or CFO at a larger freight brokerage firm. This team ensures that all transactions are recorded and classified correctly, tax obligations are met, and that all accounts receivable and accounts payable are managed efficiently. In the context of a freight brokerage, accounting works closely with the sales and operations team to ensure accurate invoicing and payment collections from the shippers, and then handles payments to the carriers. By effectively managing cash flow, the accounting department ensures financial stability, allowing the brokerage to continue operations and ultimately grow. Next up, credit. Closely linked with the accounting department, the credit department assesses the credit worthiness of customers and sets the payment terms. This team, typically composed of credit analysts, perform the detailed financial analysis process to research credit scores and credit history on different shipping customers. They manage risk by setting credit limits, ensuring the brokerage isn't overexposed to potential payment defaults, aka customer doesn't pay their bill. It's common for this department to use services like Dun & Bradstreet or various credit reporting agencies to collect data on any new shippers. In freight brokerage, this department plays a crucial role in deciding which shippers to do business with, reducing the risk of dealing with companies that may default on their payments. Again, not paying their bills. Slow paying customers can really damage the health of any business, but especially in freight brokerage since as brokers, we essentially act as the bank to fund the transactions. It's common for a freight broker to pay a motor carrier well before the shipping customer pays their bill to the broker. By managing credit effectively, the company can increase its profitability and cash flow stability. Next, carrier compliance. The carrier compliance department ensures that all motor carriers meet the company's compliance standards and follow the regulations set by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, also called the FMCSA for short. They verify a carrier's legal operation authority, insurance policies, inspection history, safety ratings, and they will even monitor reviews and ratings on a carrier from other brokers. That could be on a load board like DAT or just on Google. A bad carrier can cost the broker a lot of headaches. These come in the form of accidents, delays, freight claims, and fraudulent activity like double brokering. We've seen a lot of that lately. The carrier team will typically use tools such as the FMCSA's Safer system to research a carrier before approving or disapproving them for use by the broker team. In freight brokerage, maintaining a compliant, reliable, and safe carrier network is crucial. This department enables the company to reduce its operational risks, secure its reputation, and prevent potential legal complications. All it takes is a decision to use one bad carrier that could cost the brokerage a solid customer relationship due to bad service, or even worse, put them out of business. Next up is the claims department. 
When things go wrong, such as cargo damage or loss, the claims department steps in. This team of claims analysts and adjusters, they handle claims filed on behalf of the shipper and they coordinate with the carrier's insurance companies. This is a huge value add for shippers when they use a broker. They don't have to file their own claims. The broker can help them out with all that headache and all that, all those processes. In freight brokerage, managing claims effectively and promptly can greatly affect customer satisfaction and retention. Freight claims are a part of the freight world whether or not anyone wants them to be. It's how a broker handles this process that really matters. So how do the departments all work together? While these departments that I mentioned, they all function in their own unique ways, the harmony between them is a fundamental aspect of any successful brokerage. For instance, accounting and credit departments, they must closely align to understand the financial health of the customers and manage risks. Similarly, carrier compliance needs to work with sales and operations to make sure the right carriers are being used and the bad ones are being rejected. To make this cooperation effective, a healthy and transparent communication system, clearly understood company SOPs or procedures, and mutual understanding of each other's department role is extremely important. So, wow, I didn't cover every single position in a freight brokerage company. These ones highlight the majority of what makes up the back office of a brokerage. Other departments like HR, IT, and marketing, they all also play vital roles in supporting and driving the company's overall operation. Each department with its own unique responsibilities comes together to create a fully functioning, profitable freight brokerage. Their collective effort ensures the company stays compliant, profitable, financially healthy, and well positioned to manage any operational hurdles that come its way. And that's always gonna happen. Their behind the scenes work, which often goes unnoticed, truly is the lifeline of any successful freight brokerage company. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.